Hi, this is uh, Pierce Paul again, corn and small grains pathologist and extension specialist at the Ohio State University. And today we're going to continue our videos in the series on growth stage in the wheat plant. And today we're going to look at the flowering growth stage. Now the flowering growth stage is marked by the extrusion of anthers on the wheat spike. So if you look at the wheat spike here, these little yellowish things you see here, these represent the anthers being extruded. And this is typically called the flowering growth stage. Now the flowering growth stage can be divided into three separate stages. Um, early anthesis or early flowering, mid anthesis or mid flowering, and late anthesis and late flowering. Now the difference in those three stages are based on where the anthers are st seen sticking out of the spike. So here we've got a spike at early anthesis. This is fixed growth stage 10.5.1 where the anthers are seen sticking out of the central portion of the spike. This is fixed growth stage 10.5.1, that's early anthesis. This is the growth stage at which we want to make fungicide applications for control of fusarium head bite, for example. As the wheat progresses in its development, or the heads progress in its development, these anthers are going to start sticking out the top portion of the spike. When they start sticking out of the top portion of the spike, it's called fixed growth stage 10.5. So here's an example. Here we've got a spike with anthers sticking out the central portion of the spikelet, and we've also got anthers sticking out the top portion of the spikelet. This is fixed growth stage 10.5.2. Now, what you should notice here these anthers are fresh, they're bright yellowish in color, and this is still fixed growth stage 10.5.2. When you get to fixed growth stage 10.5.3, that's late anthesis or late flowering, you see anthers sticking out on the lower portion of the spike. So here we've got an example. Here we've got a spike with anthers sticking out the central portion of the spikelet, anthers at the top of the spikelet, and then at the spike, and then anthers at the bottom of the spike. This is fixed growth stage 10.5.3. So 10.5.1, only spikes, only anthers in the center of the spike. 10.5.2 anthers at the top of the spike and then 10.5.3 anthers along the entire spike. Now you want to be careful with this growth stage from the standpoint of anthers sticking out the spike doesn't necessarily mean you're still at fixed growth stage 10.5 or 10.5.1 or 10.5.3 sorry 10.5.2 or 10.5.3 anthers are still seen sticking out the spike well into the grain development stages. Here's an example with anthers still sticking out. Well you should notice here though that instead of being bright yellow these anthers are white. These are spent old anthers but they're still hanging on to the spike well after anthesis. So this spike is no longer at anthesis or it's no longer at the flowering growth stage because these anthers even though they're still hanging on here they are spent. They're not bright yellow in color or brightly colored. They are white and pale. This is one good example of where the spike is well beyond the anthesis growth stage or the flowering growth stage, but the anthers are still sticking out. Now, one good way to tell that this is beyond anthesis is to open up the, um, the spike and look for the developing grain. If you open this spike, you can see that there's a grain there almost one third way developed. This is the grain being developed. During anthesis, this is not seen. This grain is not as fully developed. So again, pale colors, um, anthers sticking out, grain partially developed, this is beyond anthesis. So at at anthesis, you look for brightly colored um, spikelets, anthers sticking out, that's typical of anthesis. Grain development is what we're going to talk about next time. Thank you.